Hey guys, it's Scott Clark with Scooter Media, and what if you were told you could only shoot video with one lens for the rest of your life? What would you choose? I have to say, if it were me, I would have to go with the Sigma 18-35mm f1.8 lens, which is what I'm using to shoot this right now, and in this video, I'm going to explain why. Let's get into it. The Sigma 18-35mm f1.8 DC HSM Art was announced in April of 2013, and at the time was considered a game changer due to it being the only standard zoom lens boasting a constant f1.8 aperture. Sigma also used many high-end features and components, making this a pro-grade APS-C format lens. In my opinion, the Sigma art lenses are some of the most attractive on the market with matching design and functionality. The build quality of the Sigma 18-35mm is no exception, and it is built like a tank. Due to the exceptional build quality, though, it is as heavy as a tank as well, weighing 810 grams, or 1.78 pounds, which for some people might be a bad thing, but for me personally, it is a good thing. Once attached to the camera, it feels really well balanced in the hands and is a treat to work with. The zoom ring and focus ring are very smooth with some nice resistance to them as well. And the metal barrel is made of a special thermally stable composite material, meaning that the lens should easily withstand extremely hot and cold temperatures without damage or performance degradation. The only switch on the side of the lens is to switch from autofocus to manual focus operation, as this lens does not have any sort of image stabilization. It also features a 72mm filter thread size on the front of the lens to attach any kind of filters. Overall, I have been extremely happy with the build quality, feel, and look of the Sigma 18-35mm. One of my favorite overall aspects of this lens is the incredibly sharp image it produces. It consistently provides beautiful images with bright vivid colors throughout the focal range with beautiful bokeh or out of focus background. I have used this lens in a number of different scenarios, from interviews, to short films and documentaries, to b-roll, to all of my YouTube videos, and it just never lets me down. I've used many different lenses throughout the years, but this was the first lens that I put on my camera and immediately noticed the difference in image quality the lens provided. In terms of sharpness and image quality, the Sigma 18-35mm has to be one of the best, especially for the cost, which we will talk about in a minute. With a focal range of 18mm to 35mm, some say it isn't the most flexible range in the world, but I have found that it provides enough range in most circumstances. It basically provides three prime lenses and one zoom lens, being an 18mm f1.8, a 24mm f1.8, and a 35mm f1.8. The performance level is like that of a prime lens as well, with such sharp images at such a fast aperture, with the convenience of not having to switch the lenses. With it being a constant f1.8 aperture, this lens works really well in low light situations as well, where maybe the lighting isn't the greatest or it's at night. In my experience, I've personally found that the 18 to 35 mm focal range works well in all of the filming scenarios I have done with it. The Sigma 18 to 35 mm has a fast hypersonic motor that acquires focus quickly and relatively quietly. In my experience, if you use the internal mic on the camera or something like a Rode microphone mounted on top of the camera, the mic will pick up the lens focusing if it's really quiet in the room. I'm using the Rode VideoMic Pro and here's what it sounds like when focusing with no other room noises or talking. However, once it has focus on me for instance and I'm not moving around a whole lot, I don't hear it at all when I watch the video back. This lens does work really well with my Canon R6 and its eye autofocus capabilities, as well as the touch to focus on the LCD screen. Overall, I have been extremely happy with the autofocus performance and accuracy. With the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter being an APS-C format lens, it isn't meant to be used on a full frame camera, but it will mount onto a full frame body. In my case, with the Canon R6, there is a crop mode built into the camera that will automatically crop in when this lens is attached, and I use it all the time. I honestly shoot probably 95% of my videos with this lens. I have heard that you can also attach this to a full frame camera and use the lens from around 28 millimeters to 35 millimeters without having major vignetting issues in the corners, but I haven't been able to personally test this out and confirm it. If anyone has tried this out and has the answer, please let me know in the comments below. One more thing that the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter art lens has going for it is the price. Here in Canada, you can get this lens brand new for around $900, which is still a lot of money, but it is a deal for what you're getting. Many other lenses with similar specs and features will sell for two dollars to $3,000. You 
You can also find this lens on some of the used gear sites for around $700, and if you can get one in great shape at that price, it's a steal in my opinion. I cannot say enough good things about this lens. The build quality is amazing. The image that it produces is extremely sharp, even when wide open, with vivid colors and beautiful bokeh. I like the focal range and the fact that I can zoom in and out without the barrel extending. The autofocus has worked great even with the new eye autofocus technology, and the fact that I can use this on my full frame camera is a bonus. All of these features and specs and the lens still comes in under $1,000 here in Canada. The Sigma 18-35mm f1.8 art lens deserves the highest of praises for being such an amazing lens, and if you are in the market for a new lens, I would recommend this one every single time. If you guys found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing as it really does make a difference. I'd love to have you join me on this YouTube journey. If you'd like to compare the Sigma 18 to 35 mm lens to a new wide angle lens, I recently posted a video reviewing the Canon RF 16 mm f2.8 STM lens and you can click on that link right here to check that video out. Thanks for watching today's video. I appreciate it and we'll see you in the next one.